designer clothing, fancy cars, expensive watches, and a maestro behind the mixer. We're talking about none other than South Africa's favorite politician, Julius Malema, aka Uncle Juju. Even though he's had some drama in his career, the boy who grew up in a township is determined to give himself and his family a life of luxury. Welcome back to The Lux Life. Today, we're grooving to the beat of the Red Berets president. Did you know that Julius Malema doesn't own any property? So where does he live? And how did he grow his net worth? Keep watching to find out. Julius Selo Malema is a South African politician known for his outspoken nature. He's also a man who loves the soft life. Even though his expensive taste always sets tongues wagging, Uncle Juju never experienced a lot of luxury as a child. His family was poor. Julius was raised by his single mother, who was a domestic worker, and his grandmother. That's why he started hustling from young. At just nine years old, Uncle Juju signed up to help the African National Congress. His first job with him was to remove the National Party's posters. As he grew older, Malema became actively involved in politics. In 2001, he was chosen as the ANC's National President of the Congress of the South African Students. Malema was only 20 years old. Can you imagine? According to reports, his youth league position earned him an income of almost 50,000 rands a month. We think it was around this time that Uncle Juju realized he could live the way he wanted and nothing could stop him. Before we get into how Malema spends his bucks, let's first tackle how he got them. As much as that 50k salary helped a lot, it couldn't be enough to support his lux life. Julius is currently the president of the Economic Freedom Fighters political group, but he keeps his earnings for this position under wraps, leaving the public curious about his income. Insiders claim that the EFF spent a hefty sum of around 19 million rands for their 10-year anniversary rally, so the party should have enough to generously compensate their president. It is also reported that Malema earns approximately 100,000 rands per month as a member of parliament. But politics is not the only avenue he explores to expand his fortune. In case you didn't know, Uncle Juju is estimated to have a net worth of 55 million rands. According to Buzz South Africa, he got there by being a director of a few companies. With his career in politics and position as a board member in multiple businesses, Julius earned enough cash to spoil himself and his family. Did you know Uncle Juju has three sons? And he really said, copy and paste. He married his beautiful wife, Mantua Matlala, in 2014, and they welcomed two sons together. Julius had his firstborn while in an earlier relationship. Uncle Juju is quiet about his private life and hardly shares much about his family. But he's known to post on his Instagram now and then. And those pictures are enough to give us a glimpse into his lux life. Julius isn't just a master of politics. He's also a maestro behind the mixer. DJing is one of his passions and he's passing the groove onto his firstborn son, Ratanang. Setting up a professional DJ mix at home doesn't come cheap. And it appears that Juju's got state-of-the-art equipment. If we're talking about Pioneer DJ's club combo, that could easily cost around 100,000 rands, not to mention the speakers. Clearly, Uncle Juju doesn't mind dropping a bag if it means making his sons happy, and there's no expense he will spare to help his children succeed. According to reports, Malema's children go to private schools, only the best for his babies. Some say the kids attend Crawford College, a prestigious private school in Santon. This school is fancy. We're talking about one of those schools that take students to Paris or America for their excursions. Of course, those trips are paid for by parents, but that's beside the point. To give you an idea of the costs, if little Munzedzi Malema turns 7 this year, he would be in grade 1. Grade 1 school fees amount to a staggering 111,000 rands for the year. Ratanang started high school in 2020, so he would be in grade 11 by 2023. His fees would be 169,000 rands a year. Oh, and these figures exclude textbooks, stationery, and the other things a child needs for a successful school year. Julius also dresses his sons in top-notch brands. In that video behind the mixer, Uncle Juju's firstborn is seen sporting a Bola t-shirt. Bola is an international luxury lifestyle brand known for its high-end fashion. You could estimate buying this specific design for around 3,500 rands from a local website. Ratanang was also seen wearing a Godspeed puffer jacket in one picture with his father. The jacket comes from a local brand and their prices are affordable too. Sadly, this design isn't manufactured anymore, so we can't tell you how much this piece cost. But you should definitely check out the brand when you have some time. The love for local designs must have started with Dad. 
Julius once plugged Mzansi's sneaker brand Drip Footwear on his Instagram. The sneaker he showed off is called the Liquids Black. A lace-up design crafted from mesh, the shoe is made for fashion and leisure, not heavy use. It currently sells for 1,000 rands on Drip's website. If you want the Malema sauce, you know what to do. When it comes to his swag, Malema is an icon to his fans. It's difficult to find out what suits the EFF president wears without asking him. But, judging from all his perfectly tailored looks, we'd assume Malema doesn't mind spending a little extra to look good. The icing on the cake is the accessories he adds to his fits. In this dapper picture, Uncle Juju added a touch of class with a Gucci neck scarf. The simple edition retails for around $385. Talk about elevating a look. For the 2023 Durban July, Malema took his accessorizing game to new heights. He paired his monochrome outfit with a super sleek timepiece. Rumor has it that the watch he wore to the event is worth 2 million rands. Julius also has a soft spot for jet-setting to exotic destinations abroad. In 2022, he was spotted living his best life and parting it up in Ibiza, Spain. His travel companions for the trip were none other than Amapiano DJ's Major League. During the time, videos and pictures of the politician popping bottles and spinning sets went viral on social media. And, of course, his wife joined in on the fun too. Potting on a yacht in Europe and sipping expensive liquor comes with a hefty price tag, that's for sure. But it's not just Uncle Juju's holidays that catch everyone's attention. When it comes to cars, Julius knows how to make a statement. He has a particular fondness for Mercedes-Benz. You'll often catch him arriving at rallies and political events in a sleek Mercedes-Benz Viano minibus. Depending on the model, these minivans can cost well over 1 million rands if purchased new. He's also been spotted cruising around in Range Rovers and Aston Martins, but apparently none were bought in his name. So, whether he owns them, borrows them, or was gifted the cars is a topic for another day. And when it comes to property, Uncle Juju doesn't own any. Well, he used to. Once upon a time, Malema owned three properties. The first was in the upscale neighborhood of Santin. He reportedly paid 3.6 million rands for it, and his down payment was in cash. Yes, you heard that right. Second was his stunning mansion in Polokwane. Reports claimed that Julius paid about 1 million rands for the property. Lastly was his scale kraal farm, which was reportedly valued at 3.9 million rands. Uncle Juju's properties were auctioned off a few years ago after he was caught evading his taxes. Since then, he's been focused on rebuilding his wealth. Speaking of financial setbacks, have you seen our video about five celebs who went broke? Trust us, it's worth watching. Back to the man of the hour, as of 2023, Malema and his family are said to live in a Hyde Park property that he rents for around 18,000 rands a month. Yet, there's been some chatter that maybe Uncle Juju secretly owns this property. Whether or not it's true, what do you think? That's it for this episode of The Lux Life. Join us again next time when we'll be looking at another who's who. Like and subscribe. See ya.